Hi guys, Five Tool Breaks here with a little bit of uh, something different. Today is going to be a uh, collection day and uh, I wanted to show you my Javi Lopez collection and uh, a few pieces from it um, that I'm pretty pretty proud of and, and uh, happy that I have in my collection. Still unfinished but uh, always looking for, for different things that I don't have, memorabilia that I don't possess. I'm um, just going to run through a few of my favorite pieces. I'm not going to explain about every single card, um, but I will give you a rundown on a, a few of the of the of my favorites and a few pop reports. So, with that being said, let's start off with the pieces that you see in the background. Um, first off, we'll go with the bobblehead. Um, it's the 50 Years in Atlanta edition. I kind of keep it in the box until I get like a man cave area to really display it at. I'm not going to take it out and put it on my little breaking desk that y'all see in the rest of my videos, but I definitely like to have that in box and keep it uh, from being broke by my almost three year old. So <laughs> I like to, like to keep my stuff in good condition. Oops, bumped camera. Dang it. I do that every time. Anyway, long story short, I uh, got the bobblehead. I believe I got it from a, a Braves group, um, a Braves memorabilia group. That's where I get the majority of my stuff. A few things from eBay, as you can tell, that one's got the green sticker on the top right over here on this uh, um, 8x10. Um, and since we're talking about that one, that's actually inscribed uh, for the 96 NLCS MVP that he had won. And I love that picture. That is one of my favorite images. And I want to frame that with my game used jersey and maybe a couple cards if I can uh, fit those in there in a pretty neat little design. Um, I'll show you all that jersey um, here in a little clip right now. All right, so here's the, the jersey I was talking about. It's a 1998 game used and signed right in the top left of that eight right there. You can barely see it. Still got a lot of dirt on it, uh, especially on the inside of the collar. You know, throwing that mask on and off. Gets a lot of dirt inside there and trickles down your neck. Could have been sliding. Um, I don't know which game it was used. Um, all I know is it was game used. And it certainly has the signs of it. I doubt somebody took it out there and drug it through the dirt. But You never know with people, but I didn't pay too much for it. So I'm going to go with what it was sold to me as. But yeah, really, really happy to have this. And um, going to definitely get it framed with a few other of my memorabilia pieces all right now we're gonna get to our uh, next item I got a bat not game used I think it's just a game model or professional model if you will um, signed and certified I've got a ball the white ball to the right this is an official MLB ball um, got that one signed not not too long ago um, and then my favorite memorabilia piece besides my game used jersey and uh, that's going to be the World Series ball you see sitting here in the middle that thing is beautiful I love it um, I love having the the logo on there from the World Series it's just a uh, probably my favorite piece besides that jersey I absolutely love it all right well let's get to some cards and then I'll show you something really cool that I like a lot all right, so we're gonna start with some of my favorite, just some of my favorite cards, whether they're chrome refractors. I think there's only like one or two refractors in this little set here, but some of my really, really favorite cards. All right, so first off, we're gonna go with this uh, gold label right here, refractor. Love the shine of that card. Just love the way it pops. It's a beautiful card. See if I can get it a little closer and you can see. Sorry for the glare. Try to show off that rainbow refractor look. That's one of my favorites. You'll see it in some of the backgrounds of my video. Just love, love the way that one looks. Next, we got this skybox right here. I believe this is a 1990, uh, 99. Yep. It's really, well, there you go. Sorry. If I hold it up, you can tell. Really pretty card. It's got that. Pretty, pretty neat pink background with his number right there on the bottom left. Going for a pop fly right there. Most likely behind the plate or somewhere around through there. 
All right, next we got this uh, Don Russ Elite. A really, really nice card. Getting ready to throw somebody out right there. After that, here's one of my other favorites. My uh, Bowman's Best right here. Really pretty card. It's got the whole baseball threads around that sunbeam look behind him. Let's see if I can put the glare right where that threads are. You can tell what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can see it right there. Really, really neat card. One of my favorites. Got a Fleer Futures card. Check out all that sparkle right there. I believe this one is numbered out of uh, $4.99 right there in the top top right. It's a pretty neat card. Got a few other uh, variations of it. Like a silver, I believe, but I don't believe that one's numbered. Got a pretty cool Bowman Chrome. If I can get this to where I can see what's going on here. Sorry. Standard card, just a chrome. Love it. And here is a uh, 94 Upper Deck Electric Diamond. It's a really neat card in landscape. Sorry for the glare. Pretty neat, pretty neat. You got just another chrome of a uh, Top's Finest. It's one of my one of my favorites. There, it's got some really neat shine on the right in those um, vertical lines. All right, let's get to some relic cards, game used. So right here, we got the Summer School Battery Mate with him and Tom Glavin. It's a really, really neat card. Case is a little scratched up. I need to swap that out, but it's still still something really cool. And that's from Topps Chrome. Pretty neat. Next, we got this uh, Leaf um, Certified Materials right here. Pretty cool card. And here we got a uh, Fleer Field Game, game used uh, bat piece. Next, we got a uh, Jersey Game Worn right here from Leaf. The shirt off my back edition. And you can actually see the jersey that they cut it from, which is pretty cool. Next, we got the Big League Heroes memorabilia, bat piece, numbered out of 200. And it gives a little description, being game used, blah, 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 this and that. All right. So now, the little piece I was telling you about that I'm really, really proud of. It's a pretty cool piece, part of my memorabilia collection. Check this out. How about the MLB debut and his first hit ticket stub? I got lucky and found this on eBay. I don't know how it just randomly popped up like it did. Like, it just came out of nowhere. Super, super happy to have that. It's a really cool timepiece. All right, now let's get to the graded card collection. And then after that, we're gonna go through some of my favorite um, numbered cards that I have, that I, a lot of them I just recently picked up. All right, so first off, we're gonna go with this 1994 Upper Deck uh, Next Gen Electric Diamond. Uh, it's a Mint 9 graded by PSA. Got the cool little hologram on the right. I don't know if you can see the effect it gives. It's pretty neat. Um, this one is actually a pop four, so only four other graded at a mint nine. I want to say like there's only two um, as a ten above it. All right, next we got this uh, 1996 finest Javi Lopez, and this one's a pop four as well. Um, perfect gem mint tin. It's not a refractor, it's just the base card with the little peel taken off of it, but I still love to have low pop items. It's pretty cool and I'm, I love that image. Alright, next. This one has a hard time trying to pull up the pop report on it. Um, it took me forever to get it to work. I don't know why, I just didn't like the way it was labeled, I guess. 
and it could be mislabeled. I don't know. It's it's uh, from 1990 Best Cards, which is actually printed in Birmingham, not too far away from here, like 30, 35 minutes. You can see right down there on the bottom bottom of the card. Um, but it, it would not pull up. I even tried pulling up the serial number, and it finally pulled it up, and it was it just acted like it was normal and always been there. But when I tried to key in the card, it wouldn't pull up. You had to use the identification number, so that was weird. But anyway, this is a Pop 6 card. This is a really early, early card. I want to say he signed with the Braves in like 87 as a teenager. So this is a really, really early card from the Burlington Braves. Oh, you can see that in the top top right right there. It's pretty neat. I'm glad to have that. And that was in a Jim Mint 10. All right. Now here are the graded cards that are Pop 1s or and one that's assumed a Pop 1 because it, it's not listed there. So here's one of my favorites. It's a 1993 Upper Deck SP. PSA DNA certified. As you can see, it's autographed. Um, autographed authentic. Now, when you search this in the database on the POP registry, it doesn't pull up. It says none are graded like this. Now, it could be because this is an old label. So I don't know if it didn't swap over, but it acts like none, are, none have been certified and signed at the same time with no grade. So, technically, I guess it is a pop one. If they say there's not one and I have one in my hand, who knows? I'm claiming it's a pop one, so why not? So, I'm going to start putting some of these up here because I like to, to display the, the pop ones. All right, the next pop one I have is a 1994 Stadium Club Team Series. One of my favorite images. You know, it doesn't have any kind of refractor to it or anything. It's just a really, really nice card. And you can tell how young he is in this photo. But uh, shows off his number, his name, you know, his face. It's a really good image, in my opinion. So I'm really, really happy to have this one right here. And that one's graded a perfect gem at 10. Let's see if I can scoop these over a little bit. These stands are cheap, so don't buy these if you've seen them. I just got them to display cards. All right, my next pop one is a uh, 2000 Topps Gallery Players Private Issue. And that's a really, really, really cool card. It's only graded in a mint nine, but none graded higher or lower. And it is out of 250, as you can see in the top right there. Pretty happy to have that in the collection. Get up there. There you go. Spread these out a little. All right. So next up are my favorite favorite cards of Javi Lopez that I have by far. Um, these are extremely hard to find cards. Um, I got four of them at one time. Um, got really really lucky. Had a, a buddy help me out, search for me. Um, I'm just, I'm extremely, extremely lucky to have these. All right, first off, we're going to start it with this uh, Diamond Axis Leaf. Look at that, that really, really pretty card. It's a 1998 die cut, as you can tell. Got that gold stamp on it with the Diamond Axis over here on the left, and that's numbered out of 50. Really, really pretty card. Love it. Stick that. Uh, well, if I can get it to sit up there. There you go. All right, cards. Cooperate. Eh, it'll work. All right, next I have the big boy from that same group. This is the Z squared axis die cut. Beautiful card. The only issue I can see with it is where the die cut is at right down here in the bottom. You can slightly tell right there that that, that die cut was not very sharp. So it kind of kind of bent it at the at the cut angles there. It didn't do it on the out of 50 on the diamond there. But it sure did on the on the big one. So if I can find another and upgrade that, that'd be great. All right, the next three are the biggest cards in my collection. Um, one, I got extremely lucky to find on eBay and snatched it up at like, I can't remember what time the, the auction ended, but I got super lucky because it was cheap for what it is. 
extremely cheap for what it is. All right, I'm gonna show that one last, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that in last. I'm gonna show two cards right here, and I'm gonna give a little backstory on them um, from what I have researched, what I have heard in a podcast. Shout out to the Essential Credentials crew. Um, and, you know, a few things from a few buddies here and there. All right, so first up is the Big Daddy, or one of the Big Daddies. The uh, 1998 um, Donruss Crusade. Look at how beautiful that card is. Absolutely beautiful. And then, to top it off, let me get my other hand up here. I have to reach around the camera. The even bigger one. The Red Crusade. Now, if you want to know something really wild, is these are press proof executive cards which makes them even more rare. Some people say these are one of ones. Some people say there's three copies of them. Um, no two have ever been of the same color have ever been seen in the same room from what I've heard. It's just a, a, a two beautiful cards. I'm missing the green of this. So if you see it, snatch it up and I'll buy it from you or tell me where it is and I'll go buy it. I really want to complete the set. Surprised it wasn't together with these, but I got these two and my two fractal materials there out of from the same from the same seller got extremely lucky and got a really sweet deal or at least I think it's a sweet deal on um, on these cards. Really, really, really happy to have these. Absolutely beautiful cards. Stick that right there. And it's brother right there. Okay, and just a little extra tidbit on those cards. They, uh, like I said, some people say they're one of ones or out of threes. It did have serial numbers in the back, but you saw the X's. So if you want to find out some more information on those, more than what I shared, um, definitely um, suggest you go check out the Essential Credentials podcast. They have an entire episode dedicated to the Crusade cards, and they do a great job of explaining that. All right, last but certainly not least, the luckiest buy I've ever had in my entire life is this bad dude. The 1999 Fleer Brilliance 24 karat gold numbered out of 24. Absolutely beautiful card. Stunned to have it. Unfortunately, and this is the, the unfortunate part, really unfortunate part, it has some damage. As you can see right there where I'm trying to focus that glare, there's like a dent right in the card. And the edges are, are pretty rough on it. So whoever I got this from or whoever they got it from definitely didn't didn't have too much luck, whether it was pack pulled like this or, or what, but it is still a rare card. I have never seen another one of Javi Lopez at least and I got it for an absolute steal um, you can look it up on eBay I'll go ahead and tell you $39 that's it and as you may have seen in my last video when I explained in a comparison the King Griffey Jr. card of this graded in a perfect PSA 10 sold for $21,999 I understand that Griffey is a Hall of Famer. Javi is not. Just um, that's the rarity comparison. Of course, this is definitely not worth that. By by no means is it worth that. Wish it was, but it's not. Um, but it is still. I still got a really good of a steal of a price. At least in my opinion, I got a steal. Um, I've got more cards on the way. I was gonna wait to probably uh, throw them in the video as well, but. I got tired of waiting and I don't know when they'll be here and with this whole coronavirus stuff going on I really don't know you know if they'll eventually halt the mail or not I highly doubt they will but I just wanted to go ahead and get this going since I'm not doing nothing today figured hey let's do a, a collection video I got a lot of other loose cards but I'm not gonna bore you with showing you all those um, but I figured why not 
let's show the hobby collection and if you see something that I don't have or you don't think I have that I may not have shown hit me up I'm all about trying to get some more um, like I said still looking for the green and I'm also still looking for the regular numbered versions of the Crusade cars the ones that actually were um, retail because these were not retail they were these were not released in retail um, they got out in a long story like I said you can listen to that essential credentials podcast I'm not going to go too deep into it but it was a bankruptcy through Don Russ and somehow they got let out during that but yeah if you see any I don't have think I might want hit me up and we'll we'll make a deal all right guys um, stay safe during the coronavirus wash your hands cover your mouth when you cough sneeze all that good stuff use hand sanitizer um, keep your family safe, and uh, God bless. Y'all have a good one.